Hello, I'm Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com. This is the chart for the full moon, 12th of January, set for London. So if you're in the US, it will of course be, depending on which coastline you're in, it's either the 12th or the 11th. A full moon often appears full the day before, but this is the perfect time, 11.33. Now this is a very strong, powerful full moon. The Sun is in Capricorn and always at a full moon the moon is in the opposite sign. So in this full moon it's in its own sign of Cancer. That's where the moon belongs. Each planet belongs in a certain sign. It's a very potent configuration. You can see the red lines. They create tension but also they create action. And we have a configuration called a Grand Cross. Notice the planets actually create that formation. We have, looking at this chart, Aries, Uranus in Aries. These, this is an outer planet, it's been there for some time. The moon is triggering or activating Uranus, the planet of change, of revolution in the sign of Cancer. Then Jupiter over here in Libra is virtually opposite Uranus. It has made that exact opposition a few days ago. And then at the top of the chart, here's the Sun allied with Pluto in Capricorn. Now Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn are to do with the four seasons of the year. Aries is spring, Cancer is summer, Libra is autumn, Capricorn is winter. And as we all know, when the seasons change, things do change. So this is about a massive amount of change. Bear in mind, the sun, of course, is consciousness. It's moved past, but still close to Pluto, the planet of the unconscious in Capricorn. That's the royal blue sector, the top of the chart set for the UK be different depending on where you, you're living. Jupiter is activating what started in 2012 and that was Pluto making a square to Uranus and that's when we saw things such as the Arab Spring, the breakdown of banking systems, institutions, because Pluto is in Capricorn that governs those things. Uranus is revolution and dramatic change and we can't predict it as astrologers. So Jupiter now in Libra has reactivated that tension and the moon especially at this full moon. So that's one big story and it's really hard to grasp <laughs> because the outer planets, Pluto and Uranus, both outer planets, are to do with what's going on in the world not just personal. Saturn, a major player, it's also closer to our Earth, is in a good relationship to this controversial opposition of Jupiter and Uranus and I did talk about this a couple of weeks ago. Saturn can stabilize things. Saturn is about maturity and responsibility so that's very very important. The Sun and Pluto deep undergoing, under, undercurrent of deep things that are going on in the unconscious. Pluto is all about taboos, it's about abuse, sexual and otherwise. It's also about banking and money, big money, wealth. It's the dragon, if you think of the wonderful dragon that sits on the buried treasure, that's an image for Pluto in Capricorn. Jupiter is in the sign of Libra at this time. So we look, as an astrologer, what is Venus doing? Because Venus governs Libra. And Venus over here in Pisces is very close to Neptune. It's within one degree. That's very, very close. It moves fast, Venus. And hopefully you've seen Venus in the evening sky. It's an evening star. It will go retrograde this year, but not yet. And with Neptune, this is our dream, our yearning for something higher than ourselves. Our vision, our creative energy, artistic, 
It's the painter, the music, everything that lifts us up as human beings to something greater than we really are. And Mars is very close as well. And you can see Mars if you look up and see Venus in the sky and look at an angle. Make sure you see it. It's, it's faint, but it is red. So that is a very important connection that we all have with Venus and Neptune, which is our dreams, our dreams for the future, what we yearn to bring into our lives. But it also can be unrequited love. It can take us onto a, a world which is imagination, but also illusion. So be aware of that in your life. Don't put all your hopes and dreams into something which actually isn't practical or realistic. Use your judgment. Saturn is about being realistic and what let, letting go of anything which actually doesn't, what we call in business, have legs. It's a business expression. So anything that you've been putting money and time into, whether that's a relationship or a project of any kind, it's time to re-examine it at this full moon. So surrender to that which is no longer viable. Now this is called the wolf full moon. A wonderful image. And the wolf is the teacher. The wolf is a very beautiful power animal. And the teacher is Jupiter in astrology. So we're being asked to look at what does Jupiter want to teach us? And it wants harmony. It wants balance in Libra. It wants justice. The scales of Libra are to do with justice. Fairness is another asset of Jupiter. It strengthens the hands of those who are fighting for fairness and justice at this particular time. So watch out for your dreams over the next few days. Be aware the moon in Cancer is emotional and it is about family. It is about our home and our roots. And in London, the moon happens to be in the fourth house, naturally belonging to the home and roots, the mother energy. The father energy, the sun, in Capricorn is at the top of the chart. So these two archetypes are very important. They always will be, every full moon, Capricorn and Cancer. And then the reverse in the summer where we get the sun in Cancer and the moon in Capricorn. But this is a time to step up into leadership, to acknowledge your feminine, divine energy that's coming from Venus and Neptune. This is grace. Thank you for watching and enjoy this beautiful full moon. Pam Carruthers, healingstars.com.